What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today I've got my video showing you guys some desk accessories and home office products for this month. This is a series that we've been doing for quite a few months now and you guys seem to really enjoy it and I'm trying to get as creative as possible when it comes to products that you should check out in many different categories that are directly applicable to desk setups and improving your productivity setup from a tech standpoint but also from an interior design and wellness area. And in this month's episode we're checking out a cool keyboard which is something that I've been very interested in lately as well as a wireless charger. And as you can see, we have the brand new iPhone 14 Pro, which I've been doing a lot of content on, as well as some good productivity tools for creatives out there, a beautiful speaker, and also a great value computer. And I wanna give a huge thanks to Lenovo for sponsoring a portion of this video. As always, if you would like to win an item from this video, just make sure you go ahead and drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also leave a comment down below with your favorite item and your Instagram username so I can contact you directly in one month. So lately I've been checking out a lot of mechanical keyboards and this is the Keychron K6. It's a lineup that I'm very familiar with dating back to its original models and I first came across it because of just how cool it looked. It has a very monochromatic design with a few shades of gray and I really like this touch of an orange button on the corner but as a keyboard itself it is also very good. This generation of the K6 is the wireless model and not only is it very well built and it has a lot of the same roots of its design, but it's a 65% layout, which has actually been my preferred lately because it just doesn't take up too much space on a desk because usually my desk is very cluttered outside of filming. The keyboard experience itself is really good. We've checked out some budget options on the channel lately and those can start from $20 to $30, but the biggest thing that I noticed is that even though a lot of the keys might be nice and it might have features such as backlit, there are some areas where you do feel the aspect of it being a little bit cheaper and that comes in the space bar. Keychron being a very experienced company, I found has really refined their keyboard over the years. The spacebar feels great, all the keys are very tactile and soft, and it is available in three different switch options through the Gatoron Pros. There's a red, blue, and brown, which brings a quiet, clicky, and a gentle feel depending on what you would like. And personally, even though I really like the clicky feel of the keyboards, because I work around a few different people, it is good to at least have a keyboard that finds that middle ground that isn't too distracting, but still gives some good feedback. You can pick it up in the white or RGB backlit options, but you can also upgrade for a little bit more money to aluminum frame, which I think is one that you should definitely do. And on top of that, it has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which gives you 240 hours of typing without the backlit, which I feel like for a keyboard is really good. So yeah, this is definitely one that I can recommend and the price point really depends on how you customize it, but it's been one of my favorites to date. So this next product right here is mainly an alarm clock, but it also looks really good as a minimal and small desk clock because it actually comes in 12 different colors. This right here in the olive green, I think looks really sleek with any monochromatic setup, but you can really pick it down to your preference. And I really like the yellow as well. The way you activate it and disable it is from flipping it to the on and the off side. And as an alarm clock, that just makes things a lot simpler instead of having to press a whole bunch of buttons. But I think just as a display piece, it looks really good and it's very streamlined with the rest of my particular setup. So this next product right here is a transparent speaker. It's one that you could definitely put on your desk or maybe have on a side table, but it's a really nice way to enjoy music while having a very stylish piece. The fact that it is transparent and you can see all the parts inside is super cool. And it's just one that is very well put together and it's available in both black and white. And I personally had a really tough time of deciding which one I liked more, but it's a dual full size speaker setup that has Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity. So you just connect your phone to it, play some music. And what is cool about this setup in particular is that you can theoretically change the speaker elements anytime and upgrade them to what you want if they can fit within this enclosure. So even though it does come in at a price and you are paying for the design to some degree, I feel like it is really well put together and it's definitely one of those unique pieces that people coming over would always ask where you picked it up from. From the toggles on the front to the volume dials and everything, it is just so well put together and I'm personally a huge fan of Scandinavian design and this is the perfect example of that. 
So the next few products right here are ones that I picked up recently from Native Union. And we've checked out a lot of wireless chargers that have two-in-one functions, three-in-one, and even four-in-one. And it really comes down to how many devices that you have. I personally don't use an Apple Watch, so I usually just need a two-in-one for my phone and my AirPods. And this is one that has a very minimal look to it with good levels of contrast. And I just like the shape of it. It definitely comes in at a premium price point and only provides seven and a half watts of charge, but it does work very nice with the iPhone Phone. It has like the MagSafe connection and you can also angle it and rotate it if you'd like and it just has like a very well refined finish to it. I personally think it looks really good on the desk but I also picked up this cable recently which for the amount of travel that we've been doing has been very handy. You see, this has like a leather loop here to be able to compile all of the cable slack and transport it very nicely, but it is also very high quality and available in a few different colors. This right here is in the zebra stripe and it is very reinforced and durable, but at the same time, having the multi-purpose use case of it is very important because we use all different types of cables. We have USB-A chargers, USB-C chargers, a lot of USB micro accessories, as well as lightning and USB type C on the other end. And so this actually covers all of that so I don't have to worry about forgetting a cable. You can see right here, there's a bit of a spring and you just go ahead and attach it to the micro USB piece, which provides the adapter. And so we can use USB type C and on the other side, we can also use lightning. So having an all-in-one travel accessory like this that is able to cover all the bases is a game changer. So I feel like after doing the desk setup accessories for a few months, it is really hard to find products that are truly unique and you haven't seen before. And this is definitely one of them. If you feel like you've already got everything on your desk setup and want to bring it to that next level, then this is definitely the product for you. We actually picked up the wrong model and as you can see, it is supposed to be installed in a desk, but you can actually pick it up in this option or one that just is freestanding like a typical wireless charger. But in this case, we could just go ahead and cut a hole in our desk and have a fully integrated wireless charger system like this in either a very simple white color or with one that reveals the coils, which is one that I actually like the most. By being able to see all the coils, it is very unique. It has 16 overlapping coils and you can charge up to three devices at a time. I think it just looks really cool. And if you want to, you can also grab like an Apple Watch attachment to it. But as I said, I personally don't use an Apple Watch. So in my new desk setup, I might actually consider cutting a huge hole in that desk and installing this because I just think it looks amazing. You also have an additional USB type A and type C port right there. So if you want to plug in any other accessories, you can. And just let me know what you think about this, because it seems like the trend in this episode in particular is transparent tech. So on the topic of high value tech, especially for students out there being the back to school season, the central hub of your entire workflow is your computer. This is a Lenovo Chromebook Duet 5, and I wanna give a huge thanks to Lenovo, Google, and Qualcomm for sponsoring this portion of the video. The Chromebook Duet 5 is a sleek and portable two-in-one design that has great battery life, dual cameras, and certified eye care display, important for long periods of use. All features that any student can enjoy and appreciate. The Chromebook Duet 5 comes in at just one and a half pounds. It features a beautiful finish and sturdy kickstand to position exactly the way that you'd like. From an ergonomic standpoint, the Chromebook Duet 5 as a laptop and tablet is one of the most important traits. The display itself is a 1920 by 1080 OLED touchscreen that has small bezels and a great viewing experience. And as you can see, in terms of brightness, it is pretty decent. But if you want to go ahead and watch movies, for example, you can detach it from the keyboard and be able to use it in a much more flexible format while also utilizing the kickstand to get the perfect angle. When you're ready to do some work, you can also connect it back to the keyboard and use your favorite web browser or Chrome apps to be able to run them fully from this Chromebook, whether it's Microsoft Suite of Excel Word or PowerPoint or also some of my favorites such as Notion and also being able to browse Instagram through the app is really nice. The eye care features of this display also emit 70% less blue light and there's also a quad speaker setup that adds to the entertainment experience and is always a great feature to have and even better at this price point. The Chromebook Duet 5 is powered by the Snapdragon 7C Gen 2 processor and Qualcomm Adreno graphics which is able to handle your favorite productivity apps as well. It also includes a 12 month, 100 gigabyte membership to Google One Cloud Storage, all while delivering up to 15 hours in battery life. So if you're a student that's looking for the perfect computer and tablet as a two-in-one setup that is able to handle all of your productivity and multimedia, 
while still looking absolutely beautiful and built in a great construction like this, then the Lenovo Duet 5 is a great option to go ahead and check out. And I'm gonna drop a link down below. So this next product right here is a Vitruvi Stone Oil Diffuser. And I believe the company is actually based out of Vancouver, which is really close to where I live. So I've seen this product around quite a bit, both on Instagram and on YouTube. And to be honest, in the past, I didn't really look into it and didn't really feel like I needed one for my place. But I've actually picked up a few different items in the past that are able to give you a nice scent in the space uh, through like essential oils, for example. And this is one that I figured I had to check out at some point. I picked it up in a gray color and it is very well put together. It has a ceramic finish to it and you can just kind of take it apart here and fill up the water to a certain line and drop your essential oils in. But one this size is really good for a home office because it is able to cover around a 500 square foot space. I think this color right here really suits my home office and it's just a very stylish piece that remains relatively minimal and doesn't take up too much space. And on the back, you have your controls for the four hour or the eight hour option. And you can also have it display a light candle glow as well, just for nice ambient light in your room. It actually has a USB type C cable on here. So it plugs right into the wall and with the essential oils you can pick between a whole different variety of scents depending on what you would like and there's definitely a lot of them out there you can also buy sample packs to try different ones but personally one that i've liked a lot lately is cedarwood and so this is what i have in my home office and for my new place i definitely plan on picking up many more so i think if you've already got everything in your home office or your desk set up and just want to kind of elevate that experience if you spend a lot of time in your home office then this is a really good way to do that Another product lineup for someone who has a lot of tech accessories, whether it's for your desk or on the go mobile workflow is a good charger. And perhaps my favorite one lately has been from Anchor's brand new Series 7. These are charger lineups that we've checked out recently and there's actually a few different models depending on the wattage that you need, including the most portable ones that provide like 65 watts, ones that bring 125 watts, and also a larger model that carries 140 watts, I believe. And I actually lost it on a recent trip, so that kind of sucks. But I feel like this model right here that provides 125 watts of total charge is the best middle ground for portability while being able to supply enough power to your laptop, tablet, smartphone, and any other tech product that you have. It has a foldable prong right here, which is really nice. And it does have the GAN Prime technology, which is able to provide that maximum charge, allocate the wattage that provides maximum without overloading your device or damaging it long-term, and also thermal protection as well. So these have become very popular and there are many brands that actually make solid chargers nowadays. On the back here, you have two USB type C ports as well as a USB type A. So just like the cable that I have from Native Union, it has become a product that I brought with me everywhere, but I also use at my desk setup at home. If you're looking for this particular 120 watt model, it is called the 737, which I feel like the naming system is a little bit confusing and hard to remember, but the product itself is really good. So in these desk setup episodes, I also occasionally like to include tech products that I feel like make productivity and creativity much more efficient. There's always some tools that come out that I'm personally really excited for being specifically in the video industry where we transport large files and often videos can reach 1000 or 2000 gigabytes each. So. This right here is actually SanDisk's new system of SSDs and they call it their Pro Blade ecosystem. What makes me so excited about this is that they already released a product earlier in the year that allows you to have different card readers all in one terminal. And in addition to that, they also launched this Pro Blade SSD system that I've been waiting for to come out and it is finally here. This right here is a system that allows you to buy these SSD pieces called the Pro Blade SSD Mag, and you can buy them in up to four terabyte options. And with the actual docking station, you can get read speeds up to 3000 megabytes per second. You can see just how portable it is, but it uses a port right here to be able to connect to the blade, and you can have four different cards in one bay to be able to actually transfer all the files between them and also hand them off to different members on your team while also bringing them on the road, which is exactly what we do. When you want to transport your data and bring it on the go, just take it out of the station and stick it into the transporter right here. And from there, you're able to connect it via USB type C with the 20G cable that is included and you can get read and write speeds of around 2000 megabytes per second. So when it comes to a workflow breakdown, the way it works is we bring this on the road, we back up our files and I can bring it back to the station, put it in the station with all the other drives and work off of that. And when I hand it off to members of the team, I can take it back out and hand it over in the transporter. And so it has just made fast storage a lot easier. 
and it's also crush proof up to 4,000 pounds, but hopefully you're not putting your data in that much danger. So this next product right here is a really good accessory for any desk setup because a very common issue that I run into is my cables falling off the end of the desk. Whether it's my iPhone charger, a USB type C cable, this is a really cheap accessory that fixes that problem and I've seen it for as little as like 10 bucks. The concept is simple. You can put two cables in there and just channel it through and because it is a micro suction finish, it is able to kind of suction to your desk, not exactly permanently, but it has a really good hold and so your cables are always easily accessible and you don't have to worry about them sliding off. Micro suction is such a good material that I actually went and picked up a sheet of micro suction at some point to put on some accessories that would always shuffle around my desk and so yeah, it comes in the color of white and black. I currently have it in the black option, but I would definitely recommend you get it in the white because it is a glossy finish and the black one just gets super scratched up and it's always dusty. But from a functionality standpoint, it is perfect and I feel like every desk should have a product like this. But otherwise, that pretty much wraps it up for this month's Desk Tech episode. And if you enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and let me know because I'm planning to do this every single month. There are just so many products to check out and I personally love to see accessories that continue to push the aspects of productivity and also aesthetics for people who love to sit at their desks for most of the day, like myself. As always, if you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.